Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the first three-digit version of the Mozilla Firefox web browser for desktop version 100 is now available and started rolling out a short while ago today on the 3rd of May 2022 in my region of the world. And version 100 has a lot of new features and improvements, um, changes, bug fixes, and of course those all-important security updates which roll out with every major version update. And according to Mozilla, they say in the release notes, 17 years and 100 versions later. So this is quite a milestone for, for Mozilla and the Firefox web browser. Now, as mentioned, there's quite a bit to get through. So I want to just highlight some key um, uh, features, uh, changes and fixes for you. And then we'll take a look at those all important security updates near the end of this video. So to get started, the first is... Um, there's now support for captions, subtitles, display on YouTube, Prime Video and Netflix videos when you watch in picture in picture. That's pip, picture in picture mode in the uh, Firefox web browser now with version 100. So just to demonstrate, if I go to a video from my channel on YouTube, just make sure you have uh, subtitles, closed captions enabled. And then the subtitles need to be set to your preference. Just make sure they're not off. And... You need to click on the uh, pip, the picture in picture mode button, which will open picture in picture mode. And when you play now, you should see these subtitles, captions um, displayed in the picture in picture mode, which I am not. So it's not known at this stage if this is on a controlled staggered rollout, as it is quite common for some features in browsers after updating that they only become available um, or a day or so or you know a couple of days later so if you're not seeing it just be patient but if you are that's more or less how that new uh, subtitles and captions for picture in picture modes will work after upgrading to version 100 now on the first run after you install the browser uh, it will uh, detect when its language does not match uh, the operating system language and um, offers the user a choice between the two languages and the Firefox spell checking now checks uh, spelling in multiple languages. But just as a side note here, you need to install additional dictionaries for this to work. And to enable additional languages, select them in the text fields context menu. And if you're using the browser on Mac, HDR video is now supported in Firefox on Mac. Um, and that's starting with YouTube. Firefox users on Mac OS 11 Plus with HDR compatible screens can now enjoy higher fidelity video content mozilla says and then two improvements and add-ons and upgrades for uh, uh, gpus on windows systems uh, the first is hardware accelerated av1 video decoding is enabled on windows with supported intel and amd gpus and the second is video overlay is enabled on windows for intel gpus reducing power usage during video playback which is a nice performance boost there in version 100 and then a scroll bar improvement and setting on linux and windows 11 now apparently makes uh, on those operating systems makes the scroll bar look a lot slimmer and more modern and minimal um, as we can see now after upgrading to version 100 that looks a lot more slimmer now this does not apply to windows 10 i have checked and on windows 10 even after upgrading we still get those old scroll clunky old chunky scroll bars and then also on windows uh, firefox now follows your system setting when it comes to your scroll bar so just to demonstrate if we head over to our settings in windows 11 accessibility and your scroll bar settings whatever these are set to the browser will now follow so if i just turn that on as an example you'll see now that it's always on and if i go turn it off it will follow the setting and you can see now it's off and if i just leave the mouse alone for a second or two uh, that will disappear so new slimmer scroll bars in both windows and linux and then on windows your scroll bars will now follow your system settings and uh, if you are using the browser um, and you are located in the United Kingdom. It now supports credit card autofill and capture in the United Kingdom. Now, just to go through some of those uh, fixes, according to the release notes, um, users can now choose preferred color schemes for websites. And where you can find this is, once again, just head back to your settings, general, just scroll down a little bit, and here you'll see under language and appearance, website appearance, and you can change 
those uh, different preferred color schemes, Firefox theme, system theme, light, dark, you get the picture. So that's now available in version 100. And um, beginning in this release, Mozilla says the installer for the browser for Windows is signed with a SHA256 digest rather than SHA1. And just a quick reminder again, if you are trying to install the browser on Windows 7, you need to update Windows 7 with KB447419. And then in Mac OS 11 Plus, once again, um, they say we now only rasterize the fonts once per window. And then there's also support for profiling multiple Java threads, which has now been added in version 100. And this soft reloading a web page will no longer cause revalidation of all resources. Non-vsync tasks are given more time to run, which improves behavior on Google Docs and Twitch. And then the last fix, Gecko View APIs have been added to control the start and or stop time of capturing a profile. So that's the main key highlights and fixes in version 100. Now to see if you have this latest release, just head to your menu, help about Firefox, which is version 100.0. Click on what's new, which will take you to the release notes. And this is where I've just discussed, uh, discussed some of the key highlights and um, fixes. And then just to look at some of those uh, changes very quickly, if you are interested, they say here that um, Firefox has a new focus indicator for links, which re replaces the old dotted outline with a solid blue outline. And the next one, new users can now set Firefox as the default PDF handler when setting Firefox as their default browser, which I think is a nice move forward. And then this one, some websites might not work correctly in Firefox version 100 due to obviously the new three digit number. And then they give you some other articles you can go to just to get advice and tips if you are having issues. But in my experience on the other browsers, which have already been upgraded to version 100, I'm not experiencing any websites that are not working correctly. And then we get to those all important security fixes. And um, in this uh, security vulnerabilities fixed in Firefox 100, there are nine security fixes, um, six of which are high impact, which is your second highest ranked vulnerability after critical. And um, the rest are just moderate and low. So out of nine security vulnerabilities that have been addressed, six are high. So it's important, even if you're not interested in new features to upgrade, as your browser is your first line of, line of defense, especially when you are dealing with six high impact security vulnerabilities. And um, your browser is your first line of defense to the online world. So just make sure it's up to date um, from the security uh, and for the security side of things. And then if you are interested, version 101 of the Mozilla Firefox web browser for desktop will be rolling out according to the release schedule on the 31st of May. Um, this year 2022 which is at the end of this month so that's it for version 100 the first three digit version of the firefox web browser so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one